Prince William thought his brother was being brainwashed by a therapist and asked to join a session, Prince Harry has claimed. The Duke of Sussex claims his brother was so concerned about what was happening during the confidential sessions he even offered to go along. Harry also accuses the Prince of Wales of believing his sibling was unwell which meant he was therefore unwise during the period before the Sussexes stepped back from royal duties. The claims in Harry's memoir, Spare, are expected to unsettle the Prince of Wales who is a keen supporter of mental health causes. The Duke of Sussex also claims in his book that he attempted to heal the sibling's relationship by inviting William to a joint therapy session, but William refused. Harry's revelation comes ahead of an interview with his friend Tom Bradby to be aired tonight, January 8, on ITV. When and Where You Can Buy Spare, the new book by Prince Harry Spare by Prince Harry will be released by publishers Penguin Random House on January 10, 2023. The tell-all memoir, which was ghostwritten by Pulitzer Prize winner J.R. Moringa, promises to be packed full of explosive revelations and insight into the royal family, and Terry's even an audiobook read by the Duke of Sussex himself. You can buy your copy of Spare on Amazon. This article contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more in a clip from Harry, the interview, which will air at 9pm, Harry talks about being unable to show emotion when meeting mourners after the death of his mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, in 1997. The Duke also admits to feeling some guilt when walking among the crowds outside Kensington Palace, saying the only time he cried was at his mother's burial. He tells Mr. Bradby, everyone knows where they were and what they were doing the night my mother died. I cried once, at the burial, and you know I go into detail about how strange it was and how actually there was some guilt that I felt. And I think William felt as well, by walking around the outside of Kensington Palace. Read about a baby suffering a head injury in a car crash Harry also describes feeling the mourner's tears on his hands when he shook them. He says, there were 50,000 bouquets of flowers to our mother and there we were shaking people's hands, smiling. I've seen the videos, right, I looked back over it all. And the wet hands that we were shaking, we couldn't understand why their hands were wet, but it was all the tears that they were wiping away. Everyone thought and felt like they knew our mum, and the two closest people to her, the two most loved people by her, were unable to show any emotion in that moment. Harry says in the book he thinks he is unable to cry in public because of his family's preference for not showing emotion. He writes, I dislike the touch of those hands. What's more, I disliked how they made me feel, guilty. Why was there all that crying from people when I neither cried nor had cried? I wanted to cry, and I had tried because my mother's life had been so sad. But I could. Not a drop. Tonight's interview is the first of four broadcast appearances in the coming days. Harry will also speak to Anderson Cooper for 60 minutes on CBS News on Sunday night, Michael Strahan of Good Morning America on Monday and Stephen Colbert on The Late Show on CBS on Wednesday morning UK time. A string of revelations have already been leaked from the memoir, Spare, which is due to be published on Tuesday, but hit the shelves early in Spain. The Telegraph reports the book details claims of heated, behind-the-scenes arguments between Diana's brother, Earl Spencer, and the royal family about whether 12-year-old Harry and 15-year-old William should walk behind their mother's coffin at her funeral. The prince's uncle flew into a rage at the idea, calling it a barbarity, 
Harry writes in spare. He quotes the Earl as saying, You cannot force these children to walk behind their mother's coffin. It's a barbarity. But when an alternative plan had been suggested of William following his mother's hearse on his own, Harry said he had objected. He says, It didn't seem right that Willie would have such a hard time without me. Harry's controversial book has been the subject of headlines for days as excerpts were leaked detailing personal details of Harry's love life, drug taking and rifts within his family. The Duke of Sussex has come under fire for some of the claims in the memoir, including that the Prince of Wales physically attacked him and called his wife, the Duchess of Sussex, difficult and abrasive. Friends of the pair said William was keeping quiet about the book for the good of his family and the country. Speaking to the Sunday Times, one friend said, William is a sitting duck because Harry knows he isn't going to retaliate. How many shots can you take at a sitting duck? It's cruel, cowardly and so sad for William to keep taking the punches. As keeping quiet for the good of his family and the country. The same friend adds William is burning on the inside. Another friend told the paper William is thinking strategically, as he follows the example of his grandmother, the late Queen Elizabeth II. They said, we know how closely he followed his grandmother's example, and the institutional response may win the day over the personal. But he is staunchly protective of his own family, and has not just going to roll over. Other controversial claims include William and his wife Kate, Princess of Wales, encouraging him to wear the Nazi uniform that sparked outrage in 2005 and that he killed 25 Taliban while serving in Afghanistan. In a previously released trailer for the ITV interview, Harry says he is publishing his memoirs because he does not know how staying silent is ever going to make things better. In another clip, he says he wants to reconcile with his family, but that it cannot happen without some accountability.